Welcome to this afternoon's, uh, this week's, uh, this afternoon's uh, masterclass, if that makes any sense whatsoever. <laughs> and those that saw the update in the event will know that this week we are doing... Ginger nuts. And the same to you. Right, OK, so, Ginger, is this something we put in the guest rooms, darling? We do sometimes, yes. Um, they happen to be my brother's favourite biscuit oh, as well, I that I make. So um, I do try and send him some at Christmas. Um, he did try and eat them all without letting his wife know, that, uh, Rachel know, that they were eaten and arrived by post. So, naughty, naughty. Yeah, so, as ever, people, if you've got any comments or questions, put it in the comments box below. And as long as your privacy settings are set correctly, we will see the comments whilst we are live. If your privacy settings aren't right, we won't, and I'll only see them on playback. But we'll do our best to answer anything you want. So, here we go. Juliet Ede, Masterclass, Ginger Nuts, take it away. Okay, so 220 grams of self-raising flour, uh -huh. two teaspoons of, bar, of bicarbonate of soda, uh -huh. two rounded teaspoons of ginger. Ground ginger. So we're going to That's soup. the dry stuff, yeah? Yeah, it is ground ginger. If anybody wants the recipe, just yep. uh, send us an email, relax at heathcliffhouse.co.uk. Okay, okay, sift it. Sifting flour and ground ginger. And the... Uh, Baking powder. Bicarbonate of soda. Is, it, is there a difference? Yes. Oh, what's the difference? I'm not sure. It's oh. a chemical reaction, I it's believe. It's a chemical reaction. Sorry to put you on the spot there, dear. Right. Yep. Okay. okay. Next. Then we've got 100 grams of soft butter. Mm. And I've washed my hands. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing an apron. I am going to rub this in to the flour so that it resembles breadcrumbs. Okay. So that will just take me a moment actually. I haven't factored that in. Okay, so while you're so, doing that, yes. in the true traditions of TV, director, cut to the view of the garden. So there we go. I don't know what the weather's like in your part of the world, but it's absolutely beautiful down here. It's a bit hazy up in the top, but um, the sun is out, it's very, very warm. And um, yeah, we've just had a lovely tour of the garden and our burgeoning wild flower meadow, which you can just see the top of there. So I don't know if anyone caught the um, our COVID-19 update video that we put out earlier. It went live, um, I think, at around two o'clock, about an hour ago. But um, hopefully you'll all get a chance to watch that. I'll pin it to the top of the page um, so that it will be the first thing you see. But with any luck, we will be open on the 4th of July and we will be ready for you, and we will be COVID-19 compliant. So, breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs, get in there. Mmm, I see. So, try and do it with your fingertips. You pastry hands, you need pastry hands yeah, for this. It's not a bad idea, but it's not essential. Ah, right. Because we're going to mix all of this to a paste shortly. Oh, are we? Oh, okay, so we've got other ingredients going we in, have, have we? We have, we have. We've got 100 grams of granulated sugar. Oh, that'll be over here. Yep, and 100 grams of golden syrup. Oh, can't beat a bit of golden syrup. Would you syrup. like to tell them about your... Uh, Steamed syrup sponge that you had the other day. Do you know? Yes, hello, it's me. Sorry if that was a shock to you all. But yes, uh, the wife may be. I just have to say sometimes, and the wife does, not often, but um, I said, any chance of a syrup sponge for, for dessert? She said, no problem, darling. I'm straight in the kitchen now. And do you know what? I had a syrup sponge. Do you know what I have it with? Evaporated milk. <laughs> oh, oh, took me back to being 12. Anyway. Back to the breadcrumbs. Right, so we're there now. Yep. As you can see, it's kind of a sandy mixture. No big lumps of butter left. Right. Mm -mm -mm. So. So. In with. In with the sugar. In with the sugar. And just incorporate that a little bit. Pom pom pom. And then in with the golden syrup. Now the golden syrup was hot when I put, or warm, because I put, as you might have seen before, I put the tin in a bowl of hot water. Um, and the spoon, and that makes it easier to weigh out. Top um, tip. But now it, it's it's just a little bit stickier. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. I just want to try and get as much of it out as possible. Right. Don't worry, if, the, but if it needs licking out, I'm your man. Yes, of course. Okay, there we are then. And then what we do is, using our hand, just bring it together into a paste 
doesn't want to go, does it? It's just sticking to my hand. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It's coming together. It is starting. It's coming together. It's coming together. Does this one freeze as well? This is great because you can weigh these out as little balls, freeze them on your tray, um, pop them in a bag, and then whenever you need a couple of uh, freshly cooked biscuits, you just grab them out, put them in the oven, uh, 15 minutes-ish, sometimes not as long as that, um, at uh, number five, which is about 160, I think. But it's all on my recipe. If you want the recipe, just let me know. As we say, yep, email us, relax, at heathcliffhouse.co.uk. Okay, so with those coming together, and these, so, these might be um, the lucky people that are coming on the 4th of July. We do have bookings for the 4th of July. We, we have been taking bookings. Um, it, is, it is possible, a probable, uh, we don't know. We will find out, uh, hopefully, in the middle but of next week. But booking as well, because we're not taking any deposits, and if for any reason you can't travel, then... Then, yeah, you can feel free to move your booking. Move your date. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, so hopefully the lucky guests who, who may arrive on the 4th of July that are in our premium rooms may have... Some ginger biscuits. John and Gabby. <laughs> John and Gabby. Ah, oh, I see. Right, so, so as you can see, okay. it's now coming together. I do need to just try and get this off my fingers, though. Yep, okay. Yeah, don't waste any. No, never. And then what I do, in true Bake Off fashion, is I actually weigh my biscuits out now. Oh, do, so, you, do, do you want the scales? I do, please. So for large biscuits... Uh, which are kind of normal size ginger nuts, I use 15 grams and then if I want liquor ones, say for the afternoon teas, if I'm doing one for afternoon, if I'm doing them for afternoon tea, they look much nicer if they're smaller, so I only use 7 grams then. Oh, I see. Hmm. Well, you don't want too much ginger in your life, do you? Stop it. Afternoon batch. Stop it right now. Okay, so it comes together looking a bit like this. Okay, and then what we'll do, well, I've got adding weight scales. So, I make a ball, weigh it. 19, look at that, what did I say, 20? Did I say 20? No, 15, didn't I? Oh, too big, too big. So? Try to do Okay. 16. So, okay, so you're going to carry on. You're going I'm to, going to carry on. You're going to weigh all these out. Yep. And then we'll pop them in the oven. And what we'll do is we will put, uh, at the end of the video, once it's uploaded, we'll take the photographs uh, of Juliet eating the biscuits. Obviously not me. Um, <laughs> you just don't have your photo taken. That's what happens there. <laughs> okay, boys and girls. We won't keep you around for this bit, but hopefully, there we go. If you fancy doing that yourself, feel free, and we want to see the photos. If you're going to make your own ginger nuts at home, get it done and put the photos on the bottom of this post. Okay, so they're going in the oven. What was it again? Gas mark five for how long? It's a, uh, for just about 15 minutes. 15 minutes, there we go. So check them after 10 or 12. Like proper ginger nuts. Uh, I'm only going to cook four now, and I'm going to put the rest in the freezer. So oh, okay, lovely. So there we go. That is two each. Don't let them convince you. I think you'll find it's three for her and one for me. Okay, so what, what you do, you roll them into balls. Roll them into them balls. Your, I always use baking paper. But you don't have to if you've got a non-stick tray, you might be happy with that. And then just a regular dessert spoon. Oh, cheeky. Ooh. A little, little just a cheeky little press. 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 And they're ready to go in. Voila, there we go, okay. they're going in the oven. Okay. okay, boys and girls, we hope you enjoyed that. Um, there may not be a masterclass next week. This could very well be the last if... The Prime Minister gives us the go-ahead to open on the 4th of July because we will be busy getting the place COVID compliant for you. So, um, uh, yeah, we'll be working hard on that. But as soon as we know, we will let you know. In the meantime, stay safe, keep well, and we look forward to welcoming you to our home when all this madness is done. Don't forget, let's see your pictures on the bottom of this. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.